Hi everyone, my name is Laura and welcome to Book Bubbler and day seven of Vlogmas. Uh, today is Monday for me, the sixth. I just had a client who left and now I'm done with work for the day. I'm not with, done with errands really or anything else work related, but I'm done at the office. So I thought I would kind of bring you with me. I am a little nervous to um, vlog myself in public. <laughs> it makes me uncomfortable but I'll, I'll do what I can. So while I set you guys up here, I'm going to change sheets and everything and hopefully be able to hear me while I'm chatting. So how are y'all doing? Um, how was your weekend? Mine was okay, fairly busy. I mean, there's always things to do, you know, but yeah. And then yesterday we had our book club announcement, title announcement at Double Booked Co. That was fun. And um, I also joined in on Krista's productivity sprints at Books and Jams. I really like her channel a lot. Um, every other Sunday she has them. And um, I didn't do any reading this time, which is unfortunate. Uh, instead, they were talking about puzzles, and I got stuck on PuzzleWarehouse.com looking at things. It's probably good that I didn't order anything yet. I was going to order something, like I had it all ready to go, like my cart was, well, full, and I'm like, okay, I'm, I'm done now. I'm, I'm going to check out. I'm done. And I thought, what am I doing? What am I doing? So I didn't order anything yet, but I think I'm going to have to go back on. They had Edward Gorey puzzles, like how do I not buy those, you know? That almost came back to me. Um, let's see what else. Slept pretty good. Had weird dreams. One specifically that I was in Cardiff with Danny, visiting Heather and Sean and Bert, and like my weird sushi meal attacked me. I turned into a snake. I don't know. <laughs> I woke up freaked out and also like. What the hell? <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, had a client this morning and that's about it. I am super loving everyone's Vlogmas videos this year. Like, um, again, Bert and Sean and Heather, of course. Of course, Danny's um, Karen Evans. I'm watching her and really enjoying her. I watched the first one of Angie at Literary Labors last night. Um, oh my God, I forget who else I'm watching, but yeah, super loving it. Just really, really enjoying this time of year. I know it's a lot of work going into everything, but I'm really gonna miss it when it stops <laughs> in January, the end of the month or whatever. Um, so yeah, okay, I'm going to stop because I need to go empty my water out in the sink down the hall and I'm gonna change sheets and everything and get on my way, so. Happy Monday. Okay, in the car, off to do our errands. Number one, the bank. Stop number two, mom's house. Hi. Stop three, the library. Step number four, figure out lunch somewhere. I'm too hungry, everything sounds good, so this will be a surprise to both of us. I went to Applebee's and got a falling apart, <laughs> I can see inside, um, oriental chicken salad wrap. Basic B, that's me. So I ate, had a phone call, and now I'm really tired. So I'm probably gonna take a nap, it's three o'clock. Um, yeah, I'm probably going to take a nap. I should be doing laundry and dishes right now. But instead, I am watching book two. Right now, I'm watching day five of Bert and Sean's Vlogmas. I love them so much. They're so cool. I really wish I could be them. I'm not them. Um, 
They do such a good job on Vlogmas. It's I just look forward to it. It's my favorite thing. So, yeah. I'm going to enjoy watching some Sean right now, talking about a book. And then I don't know what else we're going to do, but I'm going to watch that and then take a little nap. It's almost four. A fun fact about me, if I let myself take a nap or um, do something fun for myself, <laughs> like it's okay, you worked, you can take a nap, it's fine, then I will not be able to nap or I won't be able to do the thing for like whatever weird mental reason. I don't know, welcome to my brain. Okay, so I've been putzing around on things. Again, still extremely full for lunch, so I'm trying not to bend that much. So what do I decide to do? Hmm, <laughs> haul up a giant thing of books. Uh, so I'm doing laundry now for work, of course, because that's my life. And I knew that I had a, like a storage, plastic storage bin somewhere here that was empty and it was all dark. Like, I mean, not see through at all, so you couldn't see in. What I wanna do is use this, um, use the blank empty one outside for deliveries. So if it's crappy or sleeting or whatever, or I just don't want people to know that I'm going to get a delivery and there's a box there from thrift books or whomever, you know. So I find this downstairs, this big container. When I was doing laundry yesterday, because again, laundry is my life, um, this big sterilite container. Like it's a nice color, whatever, it's fine. Like this is perfect. I don't know what's in here. The only thing sitting on top of it was my box from my desktop computer, which I do save because if it has going to get fixed, I just repackage it in there. Like, that's how I am. So, <laughs> I'm like, good, I'll just use this. Like, this should be empty. I don't know what's in here. It's probably just empty. So, I just try to move it. I'm like, God, this is, what's in here? Heavy. It's books. Are we surprised? No. I sort of was, though, I have to say. So there's a mix in here of red and unread, and I don't really know what's in here, but oh, I don't want to deal with this, but I have to, because I really do want to use this bin. So we're going to sort through some things and see if we can unhaul. Fingers crossed. Okay, it's around five. I've gone through that bin of books. It's really massive. There were 22 that I had read and 35 I want to say that I had not read. Now, I don't know if you're new here or not. If you are, hello and welcome. Um, I have thousands of books. Um, thousands of unread, fewer read. And one thing I would like to do for next year, in fact, I really need to do is to get a hold of things um, try and control myself and get rid of books. It just has to happen. I don't want to and I know that there is no such thing as books and I will say that forever and ever but I feel like I'm at like beyond just beyond tipping point of books in this house. Um, please ignore the two books I bought myself this month so far. Uh, so I need to unhaul some things is what I'm saying here and I love watching a good unhaul video for anybody Recently, Gavin at How to Train Your Gavin did a video of unhauling 100 books before his coffee gets cold. Now, he didn't really make it because the coffee was cold, but I liked that idea. And I have more books than he does, so that seems really, um, like, not possible for me, just timing-wise. But 100 books I can absolutely get rid of. So 
I'm just focusing on 100 books to start. Like, it will be nothing. I will not feel a difference in the amount of books in the house, but I know that there will be a difference. You know how when you start cleaning something, it doesn't seem like you're ever going to get it clean and all of a sudden it's done? Like, you know, you don't notice the progress in the middle. <sighs> so, I'm going to try working on that. I'm not going to talk through all the books I'm going to get rid of, and I'm not going to get rid of anything right now, but I did pull six out of the parts that I, the ones that I had run, excuse me, that I'm going to get rid of off of that stack. So it's a start, right? The other ones that I have in there that I have not read, I forgot that I had them, except for two, which I had been looking for and found them. I was like, oh, of course they were in here. Um, but I do need to get rid of stuff that's on my TBR. I just do. No sane person in the one bedroom house needs over 2,600 unread books. It's just not a thing that anybody needs, right? Like, and I am good with having stacks of books on most every flat surface, like that's all okay. But when that's the default is to just make a stack on the floor somewhere like that in, in every room of the house, except for the bathroom, I have, <laughs> I have books in every room, except for the bathroom. Um, and I refuse to start there. So uh, I have to get rid of stuff. And it's difficult. I have an emotional attachment to books. There was a tweet I saw over the weekend that said, oh, that that's my emotional support stack of unread books. Like, <laughs> I really, really felt that um, deep in my soul. I really felt that. Um, so I need to let go of some of that emotional attachment to the books because it's just a thing. Um, Reinstitute um, the Marie Kondo, thanking everything for being there and, you know, board service or whatever and then passing it on to the new owner I have to do that like I did that when I was a kid not knowing that that was a weird thing to do because I guess I was just a weird kid but um I need to start doing that for all that stuff because it's just too much like I I can't find the stuff I want to find anymore and some of it feels like old Laura would have really loved this book and totally jammed on this book but current Laura is not quite in that same space again and current Laura needs to let old Laura go. You know, I am also <laughs> someone who shops for a life I don't have. Um, like I, I shop for the life in which I'm married and um, my husband and I both work, but like we own our own businesses so we can take our own time off. So we can live part of the time here in the States and the other part like in Ireland or the British Isles or somewhere like that's the person I'm like in my brain that I buy for this other Laura is also like half of my size so she can buy whatever she wants clothes wise and this other Laura is like doesn't have any debt so like it doesn't matter that Laura can exist that's fine that's totally fine um but that's not that's not this Laura current Laura actual Laura on this plane in this universe in this timeline <sighs> need some help. <laughs> She's got to get a grip. Um, don't tell my mom this. She will lord it over me in a very nice way, in a loving way. She will lord it over me. Uh, so I got to get rid of stuff. This the short version. Yeah. I don't want to do this. I really don't, but I need to. It's important. Not only to <laughs> my mental health, which is uh, shaky at best, but also just for the dang structure of my house. Like, there's so many books everywhere. It's super overwhelming. And I used to be really good. Like, when I moved in, in the first maybe, like, probably decade I lived in this house, I was really good about knowing exactly where things were. And I'm a piler kind of a person. I've always been a piler to organize things. So, like, if you ask me something, it's in this pile. Give me 30 seconds. I will get it out for you. Like, I was really good with everything that way. And then um, when my dad died, everything went to hell. And it's been eight years now. So I have just been treading water, surviving. It's a fight or flight mentality long term. And I've been trying to really work with that a lot more specifically. And letting go of some of that stress and letting go of that, um, that panic. I'm, try I'm really trying to work on that with... <laughs> not one, but two different therapists because you're all nuts. Uh, and I'm making progress. I am. It's like, it's slow going and that's okay. But I, I'm getting better all the time. So, yeah, 
I need to do this for myself. Let old stuff go and just be okay with it. Um, before, I, I should say previously, when I've tried to do unhauls, you know, I always ask for advice. I, I know what I think initially, but then I like to get lots of different people's opinions on things. And I like to factor that into what I'm thinking before I make my final decision. It takes a long time to make a decision. It is not fun in my brain. Let's just say that. It's not an easy, breezy time. Um, and I'd like to stop doing that so much, feeling like I need to get all these other opinions and trying to just trust myself, figuring out what that is, but also just trying to trust myself. And I know I need to get rid of things. Um, as to how I'm going to get rid of things, I will ask a few friends if they're interested in any of them. Just send a picture. Anybody want any of these, you know? Um, some of them, if they are in rougher shape, which if it's something I purchased, they would not be in rougher shape. But um, I would put them in a little free library box and, like, a box that would go in my car and, you know, whatever. Um, some things will go back to paperback swap, which is, I've used them for years. So I'll check that if it's someone's on someone's wish list or there's just one or two copies, I will post it there. If it's a whole bunch of copies, I will just put it in a box and then everything else will be sold at half price. I don't really donate books to charities or anything. I, I don't know why, I just don't. Um, I mean, little free libraries, I guess, whatever. So they'll all have homes eventually. I, I don't know. I've been putting this off for such a long time and it's really, really necessary, really necessary. Um, was watching some Vlogmas stuff. Again, Karen Evans was watching her. I'm caught up now. She has wonderful short daily vlogs, really enjoyable. Go check her out. Um, and something she did that I, I saw a while ago on her channel and totally spaced. Um, but she does monthly boxes for herself. She'll, she'll prepackage a bunch of books from her shelf and just put them in a bin. And then like, this is November's box or whatever. So then she is sort of surprised and she sort of has a TBR built in. I like that idea, but I think I should do that with TBR books as in like, okay, this month you decide on these 10 books and either you read them or they got to get to step in, you know? So I'm thinking about that. I also don't want to make this more complicated than it has to, but making it fun and making a game out of it <laughs> takes some of the stress off of my poor little brain. So... Yeah, what do you guys think? Should I just rip off the band-aid and just do it and just start unhauling stuff? Or like what kind of parameters should I give myself? So this is what I'm doing. I'm asking for more opinions. When I just said I don't want to do that anymore. <sighs> okay, if you have unhauled a bunch of books and you found something that worked for you, please let me know. I'm gonna try <laughs> not to just give in. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I'm going to wrap this up for the day because this is already almost 10 minute ramble just here. I'm sorry. Um, I keep you rolling. Tonight, I'm just going to be stressing about books, <laughs> eating leftover lasagna, and um, probably watching a lot of Vlogmas. And then, of course, doing laundry, probably at least two more loads, if not three. So, okay, thanks for watching. Um, hope you're having a great December so far, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.